Hey guys, Mechalist here, and welcome back to my Let's Play Forever Stranded. In today's episode, we're going to look at two ways on how to get XP. So we can start and gather it for enchanting when we need it. So, without any more introduction, I'm going to get cracking. So... There's two things I'm planning for XP at this moment in time. Uh, naturally, I'm going to make an area uh, to kill the husks outside. So I'm going to take the uh, cactuses down. So they'll all be gathering around the walls. And I've, we're thinking about adding some conveyor belts and porting them to uh, an area where I can just kill them and pick up the XP. But also, for the mob battery, there is XP upgrades somewhere in here. Here we go, XP upgrades. So, one XP upgrade. So, we're going to need some quartz standard quartz block for I think I've used all my quartz and uh, we'll just dig down and see how a soul sand's going I ain't checked it okay I have no idea what's happened here What the heck? I bet my mob patch is blown up. <laughs> yep, my mob patchy is completely blown up. Wow, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna have to rebuild all this. Oh, 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 oh. I've got a bit of lag there. Bear with me a sec while I re-log. Well that's weird guys, I've just logged back in and it's just appeared. You saw I couldn't advance any further and it's just come back. That's so weird. I ain't, I ain't loaded a backup or all like that. I'm just, I tried to walk onto it. You saw me walking onto it, and it won't let me go on. So usually it's like a, a phantom block, and I have to re-log back in. Happens when I'm doing my chisels and bits, or when I'm mining with that. And uh, it's come back. Right. Lesson learned though. Let me take these out. As you can see, it's working well, my mob factory. God, that's so weird. I'm gonna say I couldn't explain why it had blown up if it had, because I've checked it regular, and I know that the power's great on it. Oops! Oh! Oh! Let's 
tilt pole. Why aren't they going in? Oh, they're going in there. I think I might do an upgrade for that. Uh, one of them. No, one of them. Can I get one? No. Why can't I? Because I need one of them. Get them in there. Here we go. And we'll stick that on there. And it can there they go, they're all in the air. Right, let's try this again. Let's go check on the soul sand so we can get some quartz. Oh, what I did. Because I know it will work in. Oh, look, you see some purple, it's gathered. Uh, I just used chisel and bits to block it in. And we've got two stacks of 36. So. Right, can this be compacted? Let's have a look at users first. See, that's where I'm at, in nether quartz. Make it stand watch as well. Gas tears. Use. Yep. Can be compressed. So, use on that. So, we'll compact it up. Yep, I know I could have done it normal contact. <laughs> it might have been just as quick at all. Right. Let's put them away. And let's smash these down. And see what we get. And here we go, we've got some uh, nether wart. Right, if we get some soul sand. That's never gravel we have soul sand the uh well I've only got six. Probably some downstairs like but this will double time be and let's see if we can breed. That'd be a good up it. Pretty a lot time be. stack and 34 from them there were 14 all together compressed so that's really good right we wanted four of these for something <laughs> I'll say for some because I forgot what we were making <clears throat> yeah I know Right, oh ah, uh, XP upgrade for the Phantom Factory that blows up and comes back. Dee 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 dee. Three raw fish. Enchanted book. Look off C1. Ah, I see. 
Let's go in there under this one. Look up C1. Look up C1, right? It's sitting to last. So we want uh, hook and quill. What's that flashing for like that? Oh, I get it. it costs more. I will we'll just fetch a stack of them. So we put that in there. Put them there. I would don't want a look of C three. I want one. So one, two, three, and one. Yeah, there we go. Rock on, Tommy. Right, so we just need that tier one upgrade. Pop them in there. Tier one upgrade. Click on that. That there. And there we go. We've got his level one upgrade. Now what's level two? Well, I reported to the user level 1 to upgrade level 2. Look of C1, look of C2. That'll need. I get this now. 13 for level 1, 20 for level 2, and 27 for level 3. And I've only got 5, so I'm not going to be able to do it just yet. Let's tidy my inventory up. And let's go stick this XP on and see what it actually does. We have a quick look as we pass. No dark spots, so it went to phase that into the really very phase is going to the vortex. Right, so I believe that you put these at side here. Oh well it's changed. So what's it do? Does it put stuff in this chest? Does it put experience points, experience buckles in this chest? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Right, I think what we'll do next is we shall uh, look at conveyor belts for the outside. See if they do them. Immersive engineering conveyor belts. Oh, the vertical ones. Never seen them before. The uh, track sander, yeah. What's that? Track on snow pad. Right. Dropping conveyor belt. Splitting conveyor belt. Just normal ones. Well, leather. Leather, iron, and redstone. I can do that quite easy. What's this cut leather? Oh, she is. So, so it works out much cheaper to do it this way. So, I'm back a pair of shears. I've actually got some shears left over from when I sheared me uh, impested leaves. Six. There we go. Right, so trouble is we don't know how big it is, do we? It'll say a good 
40 blocks easy. 50. 50 by 50. I think I'm just going to make some and see what happens. So if I get a stack and 32 redstone. What we like for redstone? Oh, we've got loads. Split that up. In you go. There. There. That one. Take that boy out. Bang. Whew. We've got a load, haven't we? <laughs> Let me stick that away. Go there with leather. Right. Let us go and see. Whoops. That's hold time. Let's make sure it's not night time. Yeah, it will. We're going to need my jetpack. It's there. And we're going to need some, some of that crappy sand. Here we go. Because that's the easiest way to break uh, cactus down. And I'm going to take all cactus down. Jetpack on time. Uh, the best. Put them there just in case I have a, a blank slot. Um, right, yeah, all that time it took me to get all this wall right. Took ages. Right, I'm going to cut it here and I'll join you when I'm ready to start doing the conveyor belting. Hey guys. Right, <laughs> the phantom Bob Farm, Bob Battery has done it again. Oh, I can walk all the way past it this time. Let's try a, a reload. And it's back. Right, so this XP upgrade one, it looks like it gives us these shards. Right click to use and gain experience, give 16 experience. So, right, cool. Now, this is getting me worried this, so I think what I'm going to do is just leave it off what time being until I can make some pans. I want one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight pans. Cause it's tempting bait in it. It's going to end up blowing up. Don't know why it does it. Got a clock in there. I think I've got a recipe somewhere for him. Or maybe not. Hmm. Well. Let's 
so in what lab? I'm weird out there. Can't see him. Oh, he's not all titty. Idiot. Nutty is a fruitcake. Machine. And it's down here. There you go. Oh, I've got a recipe somewhere for him. So. I want some circuits. Nine, so. Or nine pans. See ya. on after ten in you go seems quite buggy this vault a minute I wonder if it's been updated and it's buggy. Right, so. We turn this never active output again three hundred RF per take. Always active. Let's train it back out. And this is holding steady. Now uh, this should be working a bit faster now. Yeah. Right, I'll leave that running. Okay, we're going to see if we can get a look of the C2. Yeah. And look of the C1. There it is. 20 and 13. So we'll do 21 first. That's just 20, so we should be able to get look of the C2. Or it's 6 and 1. Look of the C1 that. Six and two. Look of the C two. Then we want thirteen, which I doubt we'll get. So I'll be back when I get to thirteen. Okay, we should be able to do uh, look of the C one now. So one, two, three, one. Got the C1. Hey, fish box, fish box. Everything should be ready to rumble. And there we go. 
number two. Now, does this stack with number one? We upgrade one. It's not bugged out since I moved that nuclear uh, since I moved that clock. Oh, it's going through them quick though. Look at that. I suppose we'll be getting a better return. Yep. Yeah. So, if I pop that here. Yep, going up. Hey guys, uh, just thought I'd let you know about the fun and games we've been having this morning while, I've, uh, while I'm playing. Uh, last night I decided to call it quits on collecting the cactus and go to bed. And I noticed there was a, a new update for Forever Stranded 1.8.4. So I thought, well, I'll leave it installing and get in bed. Then turn the computer off later. Which I did. And then when I come on this morning, I went to uh, play the new version, read about it, found out the it's going to remove the mod uh, machine power craft tool which has a nuclear reactor which I use so but I'm not bothered about that and he'll be removing the teleporter which I'm intending to use as well so but like I say I'm not too fussed about that but when I went to play the game uh, it come up shutting internal server down error I thought, oh, what's wrong with this? So I installed it again to a new profile and it did the same thing. And it must have done it about five times. So I've reverted back to version 1.8.3 and I won't be updating to 1.8.4. I'll be skipping that version because. I don't know whether anybody else is experiencing problems yet. It's a bit early to tell it, we're only released last night. And I ain't read about it. Oh, I've seen one said it, it's crashed on them. But that's it. But I just thought I'd let you know. Right, back with you guys. Uh, I've got my first trench done. Just take care of this one. What I've done, I've dug a trench. It's uh, one, two, three, four deep, and I've put trapdoors on because they're reluctant to walk straight into it so trapdoors they'll think there's some that stood there a block and they'll just walk straight off and then at the bottom I put conveyor belts taking it into this under this pillar where I've got a little kill room and I'm going to do the same at that side and then multiply it all around my base And it will just give me uh, more XP and keep the numbers down that's uh, building up around my base. Actually, I don't want entities all around base, so and whenever I want some XP, I can just nip down and uh, use them. And I've got this item collector, <laughs> 15 in it already. I've got a wooden 
bite there and as you can see it reduces them to half a half but it doesn't kill them and so I can just come down here finish them off get the XP and that picks up the drops so yep simple as that this jetpack sometimes gets on my nerves But that's how I've done it. So I've got XP coming from mobs outside. And I've got XP coming from my mob farm. These are the various ways to gain XP. But you know. I might as well keep it like this. Because the other way is he's using uh, soul shards and that. To spawn in mobs. Make spawners. I think it's soul shards. Let's have a look. Other one here. Yep, soul shard cage. This uh, mod pack will help you uh, make spawners by using a uh, wild sword to capture, capture them, and then you can pop them. Once you've got uh, it, so so many full. You pop them in the air and it will act as a, a spawner. But then you introduce in more mobs into your area, which will cause more lag. So, it's been night time for a bit, let's just go down and check see what's happening. Oh yeah, sounds like it's... Uh, let's have a look what we've got in the air. Right, let's kill some. Start killing these spirits as well. Now you have got one up there, but it's because I ain't got a conveyor belt at that side yet. Once I get a conveyor belt at that side, the way it feels to stab me. Yet. Well, yeah. It's working okay. Probably we get it XP, which is what we want in now the drops. So we'll put a tick on that to say, fine and dandy. Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. Hi guys. I've got both sides done. And I've let them have a chance to build up. But, I have a compressed husk here. Now, these compressed husks, from what I've seen, they're like exploding to nine, don't they? So I'm wondering if they'll explode into this area. Now to fetch some more blocks with me. Oh. That can go there. So the only area they can get into is the uh, right let me take that come on give me it is it gone check back on oh it's gone in box ain't it silly me right can I jet back straight up here? Yeah, I can. Just gonna pop that there. Nah, only two spaces of these in front of me. So, anyway, here goes. This is compressed dusk. Can't be thick. No, they've all they've all got in there. So that's good. <laughs> so if we get a compressed tusk in there We know that it's gonna explode in there and not into a safe killing room. But as you can see 
XP's coming in quite quick now. And that's without even checking the mob farm. Looks like the queuing waiting to get rid, does it? Must only be able to have so many mobs in an area in a certain block. That's interesting to know he can't fire at me as well. And there you go. Well, guys, time's run away with me again. There's a time fly where you have in Minecraft, but. but uh, for this episode, I'm going to call it it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've made, maybe found some of it useful. And a giggle than the uh, If you have, then you know what to do. Smack that like button for me. And I will catch you next time. Bye.